So welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. Today's one is going to be a little bit different. We haven't done this in a while. We're doing a Wolfie and Chill. A load of you have been asking me pretty much since I started playing this game. Oh, when are you going to Wolfie and Chill PvZ1? When are you going to Wolfie and Chill? We're going to do it today. We're going to Wolfie and Chill. Basically, if you're new around here, you've never seen a Wolfie and Chill before. It's basically where we just kind of kick back. The video's longer, a bit more uncut. I don't do all the kind of fancy edits that I do that aren't even fancy. They're just jump cuts. We just kick back, we relax, we play the game, we chat. Got a cup of tea on the go. And I want to bust out some more of these levels. I'm on 5-6 at the moment. I want to play up to 5-10. I want to play up to the final boss. I'm not going to do the final boss because obviously I want that to be its own episode but i am planning on playing up to it so already what have we got a like catapult zombie okay so we now got zombies with projectiles of their own so that's a great start what are we thinking um mm. let's think let's think let's think see now you're gonna get to sit and <laughs> hear this entire thought process that goes into this uh we'll do the usual yep get that get that um some people are telling me that i don't even really need the cabbage pulse that it's better off I'm better off just using the Colonel Pulse, so maybe I'll do that. I'll bring Repeater. I, I'm i actually going to bring Torchwood. This might be a bit of a, a weird idea, but I want to try it. Garlic, divert zombies into other lanes. See, did they give that to me? Because that's going to be specifically useful to me right now, or is that just kind of a, do you know what, potato mine, cherry bomb. We'll do it. We're going with the usual. I don't know what's going to be the deal with this catapult zombie, but it's going to be like a Zamboni, but with projectiles. So can't wait. So we'll get settled in. We'll start planting. I'm interested to see how long this one ends up being, actually, because I normally play like two or three levels. We're going to do four this time. Not counting if I die, which will... Uh... Don't put it past me. It could happen. Uh, they're already coming. Okay, hold on. Get them in there. See, I normally, like, when I do these, I normally will show the kind of setup process for, like, the first one or maybe two levels, and then I kind of start skipping over it because it's not always worth showing, but... Yeah, we're getting towards the business end of this now. Not long left to go in this adventure. And I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through all the rest of the stuff in this game. Like all the mini games and all the puzzles. I understand there is actually, there's quite a lot of it. So, we'll probably be uh, spending a bit more time with this game. But I am quite keen to get onto PvZ 2. So, I don't know, maybe once I'm done with the adventure, maybe we could start sort of playing around with PvZ 2 a little bit while still doing the other stuff in this game. Maybe get a little bit of variety in there, because I know there hasn't been a lot of variety on the channel recently. It's been pretty much just PvZ. But you man have been supporting the series, and you man have been loving the series, and I really appreciate that. If you ugh, if you enjoy this episode, see, I, ca I can't cut that out anymore. If you enjoyed this episode, then uh, make sure you hit the like button. Maybe think about subscribing as well. I say the road to 300k is back on. I think that's fair. But let's, uh, let's see what happens and not get ahead of ourselves. So what I'm going to try and do is people are telling me that I can put stuff along the kind of top. How do I, how do I, how do I word this? Like, you know, the, the top level that's on an angle. I can put stuff like repeater up there and it actually will, it will work. So I'm thinking maybe we get like two layers of, two layers of kernel pulse. And then we could stick repeaters up on the top and then maybe I could stick torchwoods in front of them. And then we could be laughing, I reckon. For the moment, it's good we're saving up at the minute. So I'm going to... Actually, I need to start getting the pots down. I should probably do that now. Get down the pots. Get down the pots. I'm going to put that potato mine there. Just for now. I'm going to start working on the other lanes. Just buy myself a bit of time. This one's got two waves. I need to just clock that. So we'll start sticking these down. I have this idea in my head. It's just going to be a question of whether they actually give me enough time to execute. Well, I'm kind of stuck. I can't really put anything in this uh, top lane. Because I need him to set the potato mine off. But I'd like to think that I kind of got the hang of this by this point. I don't know how PVZ2... PVZ2, yeah. I don't know how PVZ2 is going to change up the rules. I understand there's a lot more stuff to think about in that one. Blow it up. That's the one. So we'll go get my two kernel pots. I can start putting some... I'll, I'll start with this lane because we've got the cone head. We've got the cone head. So if I put that there... Yeah, it does work. Okay, sick. All right. That's cool. So we should be looking good. I can actually start playing my repeaters again.
Yeah, we'll just go lane by lane. The good thing is, because it's taken me a while to sort of get this setup going, it means that I can quite easily save up the sun that I need to actually do it. So that's not really too much of a, a bother. I think this is probably going to be one of them ones. I'm going to get my, I'm going to get the setup. I'm going to get the torches in front of them. And then I'm just going to chill. I'll just kick back, swig the tea and see if it can hold up. Say that. Everyone keeps having a go at me about missing the coins. So I'm trying to focus on several things at once, and I do tend to not get them sometimes. They're coming. I like how I'm always the one that gets sent in first, which then consequently means I'm always the one that dies first. I like that touch. I like that pop cap. Nice. It's real nice. Got that. I wasn't really spotting whether or not the butt can actually stop multiple zombies. Okay, so this guy's just showing up now. In fact, you know what? I don't even really have the energy, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, he blew up before I could even blow him up with the cherry bomb. That wasn't exactly what I had planned, but we take those. Uh, well, I don't really need this anymore, so I'll get rid of that. Right, Torchwoods, get him down. Get him down thick and fast. Well, they <laughs> Complete potluck that... Whoa! Okay, so he is actually... He's flinging shit at me now. Alright, he's gone. They do go down quite easy, which is nice. It was just potluck that it happened to come in the lane that I put the Torchwood in. So, uh, we take those. Torchwood there. I really don't feel like I need to play anything else after this. I feel like once we got these last two Torchwoods down, we're laughing. We are laughing. Does he get the butter on his head? There you go. Don't worry, one of these times, one of these times I will get to use P Gatling with Torchwood. One of these times I will. So now I just chill. Oh, money. Don't miss that. Oh, so how are you, man, doing? How's your week been? Saturday, in it today? Do you know what? I, I always forget what day it is. It's so like... It's really easy to forget what day it is when you're not in school anymore. And kind of every day is more or less the same. Uh, are we going to be able to deal with that? Or am I going to have to put a replacement? I don't like the fact that they dropped that guy right there. I might have to put a replacement repeater. The butt is holding him for now. But I'll tell you what. Why don't I do it this way? Blow him up. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Were you? Bitch. This is it. This is the end. I think we did that one pretty convincingly. It's some kind of mint. Is it a mint? It's an umbrella leaf. No, I was I was miles off. Protects nearby plants from bungees and catapults. Interesting. So it's like pumpkin, but with a more specific purpose. I'll bear it in mind. I'll bear it in mind. Next level. What we got now? More catapults? Oh, we got catapults. We got ladders. We got... Oh, good God. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Hmm. I guess what I could do, I could bring the umbrella leaf. And... Because the thing is, when the bungee zombies come down, they always plant like a little target before they do it. So I could wait until I see the target and then just like bang. But then they always send down multiple ones at once, don't they? So... Part of me is like wondering whether it's even worth it. How about we go sunflower, flower pot, Colonel Pult, repeater. That was a good combination. Do I want Torchwood or is my time better spent? I did like having Torchwood. That was good. I'd say what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Torchwood, potato mine. Not bring in Cherry Bomb. I'm going to bring Squash. We're going to do Squash this time. I th I think I think that could be that could be solid. We will give this a go. We will give this a go and see uh, who it please out. Right. Same thing again. Usual. See, this is the you see how this is the bit that I'd normally cut out because it's like I'm just doing the same thing again. But no, apparently everyone enjoys this bit. 
the immense strategy that goes into putting down the same two rows of sunflowers every single time. It's, it's, it's some deep shit, let me tell you. Start putting some pots down. Try multitask. Multitask. Not bad, not bad. Had an itch in my face. Yeah, I'll play my first one there, I reckon. Alright, we can start doing the setup now. I know I have, like I said, I know I've been kind of just grinding this game out hardcore. I do have some other things uh, planned on the horizon. I mean, I did say that I was going to be mostly focusing on PBZ for this channel. At that specific moment in time, I didn't realise that that was going to... That was going to entail uh, this specific game. But, you know, things have an interesting way of working out. But I'm hoping that Outlast Trials is going to drop soon. Because... I mean, I'm not, I've been sitting around waiting for that game for God knows how long, and I, I know I'm like a Brec, Brecken, a Brecken Rockord, like a complete Brecken Rockord, going on about how much uh, I <laughs> didn't really enjoy Security Breach. So I want, I want another good horror game to sit and play through. But I don't know when it's dropping. A Chocobo GP is coming out soon. I don't know if I'm going to play that on here. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing, at this point it's, you know, I kind of do focus on this channel. The second channel is kind of like a, I just upload on there when I get the time. I mean, if you haven't checked out my second channel, I do have one, it links down below. Uh, I do Pokemon stuff over there, I've been playing a lot of Legends Arceus. Uh, the only thing is I don't always get the time, because normally I'm taken up with like making sure that everything's, obviously this channel's the priority, so I'm always making sure that everything's sorted on here. And then I kind of do stuff on there when I've got time. But I'm wondering if I should if I should maybe do a bit more than just Pokemon on there. I wonder if... Because I want to start doing some more... I want to get into Chocobo GP when that comes out. Obviously, there's... Uh, I'm sure we all heard about Mario Kart 9. Years worth of DLC. I might cover that a little bit. So, I don't know. Maybe that's something that I could do on that channel as well. We could always just turn that into, like, the, the variety channel. Because, I mean, it's all good doing Pokemon for the moment, but once I'm kind of done with Legends, then I'm going to be a little bit... There's not going to be much to do over there, so I don't know. You man can let me know what you think in the comments if you want. Just think maybe it would be cool to... Because I do want to try and focus this channel a bit more on stuff like this. So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to increase the repertoire on the second channel a bit. Either way, I'll be playing Chocobo GP when it comes out. They uh, announced another one at the last Direct as well. It was like a, a Disney and Pixar kart racer. It looked alright. It looked kind of like, it had kind of TSR sort of vibes to it. Which isn't a fancy way of me saying that I think it's going to be dead on arrival. But <laughs> you never know. Nah, it looked okay. It looked okay. But Chocobo is going to be good. They've already announced Cloud. I think it's going to be in like the first uh, season battle pass. Like all, all these games do battle passes now. All right, setup's more or less there. Start doing them torchwoods. I can actually afford it. I didn't realize how much sun I had. Yeah, I remember when uh, battle passes used to be uh, a new and sort of innovative thing. Used to be rare as rocking horse shit. Now they're as common as dog shit. Oh, hang on. Squash. Squish him. <laughs> that was good timing. I like that. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Thoroughly enjoyed smushing his face in. Okay, good. He came in the lane. I've got torch wood. Looking alright, actually. We haven't had any ladder zombies come just yet. I'm wondering... Uh, I think maybe the thing to do... Because the ladder zombies can actually be kind of a pain in the ass. Because they basically... Oh, speak of the devil. Hold on. Squash. They basically run up and they dump their ladder so that other zombies can climb over your defense. So I was just thinking I'd do something like that, really. I'd just stick down 
a squash whenever I see one. Just to kind of take care of the problem before it comes a problem. You feel me? Alright. There's three waves in this one. So what now? Just wait for... Hold on. They're going to send a bungee. They're definitely going to send a bungee. Where's the bungee coming? Okay, hang on. Let me deal with the, the ladder real quick. Squash him! Thank you. Hopefully it's just him. Oh, no. It's, it's not just him. All right. Well, let me put that pot there so he has to climb over that instead. Eh? You see? Buy some time. Waste his time. Yeah, his ladder's gone now. I kind of want to try out... I want to try out the squash on the... Uh, on the catapult. I want to see if it works. Let's try it here. Go. Squish him. Yep, it just... It insta-kills the shit out of that. Like, no problem at all. No problem. Honestly, didn't think it would. I thought maybe there'd be uh, some limitations. What if they start sending, like, gargantuas and stuff like that? Do you, are you telling me that I can still just insta-kill them with squash? Um, you ain't taking the sunflower. You can take the pot. I don't care about the pot. Have at it, mate. Have fun. And I'll immediately replace him. Uh, I kind of want to do it again. Squash him again. Just for the meme. Bosh. So satisfying. I don't know why that's so satisfying. It just is. Take a quick sit while I'm here before the next wave comes in. Oh, 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 oh. Collect the sun that I'm not going to use. Very important. Thoroughly important stuff. Bro, you ain't nicking my torchwood. You can have the squash, though. Oh, there's so... Whoa, okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, they drop more... God damn it. I forgot they do that. Um... Okay, hang on. I need to buy time because these two are being a pain in the ass. Hold on. I don't have a squash. Oh, this is getting kind of hectic. Hold on. I think we're okay. It's just... It's all kicking off in this one here. I'll tell you what. Let me stick a potato mine there. Maybe it can just blow them all up. Squash him. Oh, it squashed them both. Okay, I didn't even realize it could do that. Well, I'll just leave them now because the potato mine should get them. And I'll put a repeater back there just in case the potato mine don't get them all. No, I didn't get them all. He should get that last one, though. That, that was actually kind of close. They just went for a complete onslaught in the middle lane. So we have here a, a flower. A marigold. Okay, gives you silver and gold coins. Is this for the Zen Garden? Or is this just something I can actually... Oh, wow. Speak of the devil. I mentioned Gargantua. Well, me and my big mouth. So no, Marigold is actually just a card that I can play. Right. What do I do about Gargantua? That's going to be... That's that's going to be a bucket of fun. Um, Go for the usual. Gives you silver and gold coins. So I guess I could use that to just farm money. I feel like that ain't, that ain't the priority right now. That is not the priority right now. He's probably a bit too big for Chomper to eat him. Could Hypno Shroom. Could Hypno Shroom. I don't know if he... Will the Hypno Shroom work on Gargantua? I don't know. I'm thinking we go with the same setup. I'm thinking, yeah, same setup as before. We'll bring Potato Mine and I'll bring... Hopefully Squash. Hopefully Squash can do something about this thing because that has actually that's that's made me quite nervous that has oh my god an itchy nose that's actually that's made me quite nervous he's gonna be so tanky uh, excuse me sorry i mean who the fuck oh, give me some time give me some time let me set up for this gargantua don't just send him straight away please i beg 
Oh, they don't want to make this easy for me, do they? This is the third to last level. Because you got to think, what are they going to do in the last level? I did see something quite interesting in the almanac. I was just having a little browse. Uh, there was kind of... I think... Don't quote me on this, but I think they were actually supposed to send a yeti in the last boss level because there's a silhouette of him in the almanac but they didn't they never sent him so i don't know i'm almost certain there was a silhouette of something and i'm almost certain it was a yeti so i don't know it seems like the kind of thing they would send in a boss wave so i'm not sure if they actually meant to send that in the last boss wave i don't know it's really confusing Oh, I'm just going to stick the squash there. Just take care of that. Wabosh. Yeah, it was weird. But what are they going to do for the final boss? I would imagine... I'm probably going to be facing Zomboss himself. And what are they going to do? They'll probably put him in a Zombot, won't they? That's going to be a thing. If they're sending Gargantua now, Zombot is basically like the... the Mecha Gargantua, effectively. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they do. If so, how in the blue hell am I going to get past that? Like, what on earth is the play there? Yeah, I've got a better idea, Cam. Worry about the final boss when you get to it. Not, like, three levels before. This is a good setup, though. Apart from when they cuck me with the, the bungees, this is actually a pretty solid setup. It is Verking Vel. Keep the pots. No, squash him. I don't want to lose that pot. Thanks. I would quite like to keep that. Really? Are we going to struggle with that? Oh, God's sakes. Are we going to kill him or are we going to... Oh, you're such a wetty. There we go. Better late than never. Slow and steady wins the race by the skin of his teeth. I'm honestly just gonna squash this cone head. Just go ahead and do that. Go ahead, be my guest. I'll always prioritize where they're sending the cone heads because they're quite. You got a big pain in my assholes. Don't send the Gargantua now. Don't do it. I know I know you really want to send that Gargantua, but I'm telling you, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Yeah, send me. Send me so I can die in like a fraction of a second. Go ahead. I'm going to say a fraction of a second. I nearly made it an entire roof tile there. I, I'm, I, I'm actually quite, quite proud of myself. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, they're sending the Gargantua. Oh, son of a fuck. Okay, squash. Here's your true test. Can you? Can you? Nope. That. Nope. That didn't do shit. That didn't do shit. Um. Oh my. Okay, he can throw an imp. He can throw an imp. Okay, that's not good. That's. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's actually really, really bad. That's really bad. Um. Oh, we are. Oh, the gargantua is dead. The gargantua is dead. Okay. Well, hold on a second. Let me just. Let me deal with the imp. Oh, no, the imp's dead as well. He... Off with his head. Okay, so that wasn't... That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So he chucks an imp, and then he just kind of stands there and dies. Still, that was hella intimidating. I'll give him that. I also just realized this is going to be where I get the final plant. I've got one more plant to... Uh fill the catalogue, apart from the upgrades. 
And this is going to be where I get it. Well, they're definitely going to send another one. So, make sure I've got my torch would set up. I'm reassuring to know that the squash doesn't do anything. But I tell you what I could do. I could totally use the squash for the imp. I could definitely do that. I could totally squish the imp. So I'll bear that in mind. I'll keep the squash back for that. I didn't see if this level had bungees. I hope it didn't. We'll see. We'll see very shortly. Be nice to me. Please be nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. Okay, so Gargantua is coming. Damn it! Every time, I swear to God, squash him. <sighs> Hate it when they do that. I don't know where the imp's going to land, so... Uh... There it is. Well, I've got enough time. I'll be able to play a squash. This Gargantua doesn't seem to want to... Oh my god, he just flattened that Torchwood. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm in trouble. Wait, squash the imp. Squ squ I can't. I'm choking on spit. I'm choking on spit. Um, Please. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Put, put a potato mine there. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm dead. Like I'm actually I'm actually just dead. I'm dead. I'm completely dead. I'm completely dead. I'm done. It's over. Oh, it's over. It's been fun, boys. It's been fun. Oh, it's been fun. It's been fun. But Oh, it's been fun. GG's lads. GG's. This gargantua just laid waste to me. I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. How'd he get up there? No! Oh! Oh, we got him. Oh, thank God for that. Just gotta get these last two. But you know what? Damn it. Squash, go. There's the one. Melon Pole, I think that is. Jesus, that level was something else. Man. Does heavy damage to groups of zombies. Okay. That's probably worth sticking in there, right? This is the last level that I'm going to do. Oh, what is that? What on earth am I up against? That is just... I'm seeing bungees. I'm seeing catapults. I'm seeing ladders. I'm seeing gargantuas. I'm seeing jack-in-the-box. Why is the phone ringing? I do want to try out this melon pole. I'm thinking... We'll go sunflower, flower pot. I'm going to leave cabbage pot. I'm going to bring kernel pot and melon pot. Do I bring repeater as well? Not sure. I wonder how effective cherry bomb would be against gargantua. I wonder if that's potentially... Okay, no, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I'm going to bring... Potato mine. And squash. You'll see why. And I'm going to bring... Yeah, go on, then I'll bring Reaper. Actually... No, scratch that. I'll bring Cherry Bomb. I wasn't really sure. This is going to be a weird level. But this is the penultimate level. So, figures that they throw all of this at me. We're just going to have to see how this goes. Honestly, it was just... I think the last game was just a case of... That Gargantua is so bulky. And if it kind of gets to your defense, unless you've got something that can instantly do a load of damage to it, then you're going to be in trouble. So what I'm actually thinking is... 
the reason I brought squash, cherry bomb, and potato mine is I'm going to kind of preempt the gargantua. And as soon as I see the gargantua start to come in a certain lane, I'm going to immediately throw a potato mine down in that lane. And then we use the squash to get rid of the imp. And then we kind of, the rest we can just take from there. They always like, the bungees like to drop stuff down in my other lanes as well. Where I can't really do a whole lot about it. So that's kind of why I bought the cherry bomb. And we'll, just, we'll see how this works, man. I have no idea if this setup's even going to work. But I've got to, I had to just think of something on the spot there. Probably stick that down. So in terms of the melon pole, I'm thinking splash damage. Yeah, do you know what? I'll do my normal line of kernel pulse. And then I will do Then I'll do a layer of melon pulse in front of it. And then maybe a second one. It says it does heavy damage, but like how heavy are we talking? If it's gonna be worthwhile, then I might even get like two rows of melon pulse if I can. That's going to be quite expensive, but if the trade-off's going to be worth it, then like, I might as well. We shall see. We shall see. But for now, we got Colonel Pulse to be getting down. I'm actually just going to play a squash in that lane for the minute. Come on, if I can just get through this. Is the last level going to be another scrolling one like another conveyor belt one or are they going to kind of lead me to it i'll work on the assumption that they're going to make me do another scrolling one let's actually put this melon pole here let's see what we're saying seems kind of big okay so two melons is actually enough to take out a brown coat that is that's quite encouraging that bodes well It says it does damage to groups of zombies. Does that mean that, in theory, it could hit stuff in other lanes as well, or...? I don't know. Hmm. I'm hoping that it'll be enough to take this guy. I mean, it's working. Seems to be doing, like, just as well, if not better, than the Reaper, so... Just need time before that Gargantua gets here. I'm not ready. At least let me get a Melon Pole in each lane. Then we can see if my strategy is actually going to work. Alright. I just need 50 sun. Just need 50. That's it. So I'm potentially ready to stick down. This potato mine. In whichever lane this gargantua decides he wants to come in. Whoa, look at how quickly they're dropping. Mate, this melon pole is on some next level. Okay, that's actually really good. That's actually a madness. They really just dropping like flies out here. I mean, okay. So they didn't fancy... They might send it now. just so anxious as to when they're going to send that gargantua. Nope. You can get out of here. Thank you. Deal with that real quick. Do you know what? I think we start going for... Okay, actually, do you know what? On second thoughts. Second one in that lane. How quickly are we taking him down? Oh, Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box. Colonel Pole! Colonel Pole, Melon Pole, I knew what I meant. Da -da 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 -da. He's already dead, look at that. I mean, these Melon Poles are good. I like these. They are very, very good. 
Definitely thinking a second row of these. Oh, really? Hang on. Squash. Oh, I missed it. I, I, God damn it. Oh, I, I messed it up. That's really annoying. That's it. Don't you dare. Can I, like, do a thing where I move the squash into the lane below? Just so. I don't know. Watch. Now, this is where they send a gargantua now. Now I'm just not prepared for it at all. That's fine. You can send those. No? Not sending one just yet? I'm telling you what, these things are living in my head rent free. They really are. Now we're okay, actually. They're gonna save it until the last wave. Then they're gonna send it. Now the sap is finally complete. God. So now I just have to wait for the gog. See that? Nope. Pains me that I have to just kind of delete a melon pole to do that, but it is what it is. I mean, in some ways, it's probably more beneficial for me to just let him steal it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I lose out on that, on that sun either way. So is it really worth me going out of my way to kill... That bun is probably not. It's really. I bet it's not even worth it. I bet it's not even worth me doing that. I'm just wasting sun. I never even thought of that. It was me out here thinking I was some sort of mastermind for, oh, look at me getting the squash in there quickly so I can kill the bungee. It's like, dude, it's a waste. Let him take the sunflower. Literally just let him take it. Go ahead. Take that sunflower. I'll just put another one there. There you go. And I didn't have to expend anything doing that. It's easy. I wish he wouldn't come and take my melon pot, though. That's a bit of a piss take. Go ahead. That's it. Lose the ladder. This is it. Moment of truth. Where are you sending that gargantua? Let me know. Just let me know. Where's it coming? It's in that fourth lane. Okay, this is going to be... We're going to have to just put that... There. I completely messed that up. Mind. Do that. Quick melon pulp. No. Colonel pulp. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Squash. Quick. Get that imp. Get that imp. Get that imp. Okay, the gargantua is dead. Oh, we made it! We made it to the end! I thought that whole situation was about to just start falling apart. We made it. This one's written very nicely. Homeowner, you have failed to submit to our rightful claim. Be advised that unless you comply, we will be forced to take extreme action. Please... What does that say? Please something your home and brains to us forth okay i can't read that sincerely dr edgar zombos i don't know his first name was edgar so i think that's it i think i think the final boss is next i think we finally made it and we've been going for damn near an hour now i don't know if i'm actually gonna have to cut any of this out but i think that's gonna do it for this episode i thought i'd wolfie and chill it you've all been asking for it for a while and I hope you've enjoyed it. So if you have and you want to see me do more of this sort of stuff, then make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you next time.